the champ. We're back. <laughs> Bright and early. How do you feel when you beat me up every morning? I love it. <laughs> you were awake before me. <laughs> I feel very proud of myself. I think you went to bed earlier than I did, though. Mm. Said you didn't sleep good, though, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I was kind of restless last night. You ever feel like when you dieted, uh, you slept better or you slept worse? No, I usually slept good because I was more tired, mm -hmm. you know, from, from the diet and the training, so, yeah. You never did cardio at night, though, did you? Like, you didn't uh, have a treadmill at your house that you did cardio, right? Not at night, usually. I would do it uh, post-workout was always the best time for me, I felt, just because... It kind of winds me down and just relax after the training. And yeah. to me, it was always a good time to do it. I mean, I'm sure I've had to do it uh, on off days at some point. Yeah, some people don't have access to equipment other than the gym, though. No, yeah, that know. really sucks, actually. Did you have a... Yeah. You have a treadmill? I had a stepper. House? I had like a Stairmaster. I okay. still have it, actually. Where is it? In the living room. So do you use it ever or never? Uh, right? Not right now, but it's there in case I want to. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's a good one, actually. It's old. So a, friend, a friend of mine gave it to me back in Venice, back in the day. I would say, dude, it's got to be like almost 30 years. It still runs. Uh, sad news yesterday. I know. So Gustavo which will insert this video in here, jumped on me for the Olympia. First he came year. to my party after, remember? Yes, I remember. The surprise party. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, he lived in Vegas. I mean, he came on really hard for 04, 05. Olympia yeah. was third to me, Ronnie. He was so happy you won. <laughs> well, he won the challenge run. I think, I think he was a little disappointed in those years because... I think he knew that he had moved up so well and he was very fierce. You notice he was, he was like super fierce competitor. You oh, know? yeah. He was very competitive. But yeah, I mean, his young kids and he moved to Vegas, bought a house. He was training at Eastern Serene. I think he trained at Flamingo here and there. He was a hardworking bodybuilder, man. Yeah. Did you on, ever train He was with on him? the team. We might have trained together, I think. A little bit. We, we stayed in touch. Like, you know, a lot of guys, like, obviously I stayed in touch with, but, you know, something with me, dude, I'm like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I've just, I've always been in kind of in my zone and just even to this day, it's really hard to go outside of what my days are planned. Like, today is just consumed like crazy, like, uh, just with schedule with you know, between going to the office, I got to go to Atomics this morning. I got a big shipment coming in of clothing on, on the athletic side. I got to shoot with J-Mac. You know, we're shooting. We're doing obviously this. Uh, they're coming to pick up that pull-up unit to bring it to Fit Club, the one in my garage. Oh, okay. Um, and, like, it's just nonstop, you know, and yeah. I leave tomorrow. I have yeah. an event this weekend in Ohio and Toledo, so... Even though I come, turn around, comes back super fast. You know, next week's kind of busy. I got a collab. I got a collab at actually Dragon's Lair. Really? One day, uh, just in the morning, just quick. And then uh, we're trying to pop out to California. We've been trying to get away, you know. Oh, wow. Still from her birthday and Capone's better now, right? He got his stitches out on Saturday. So yeah, yeah. he's feeling a lot better. Oh, good. And, uh, we may not be able to go until after the 22nd weekend because I go to Houston next weekend. And then uh, we may go and then we'll be there the following week for the Anaheim Expo. Yeah, yeah. Well, that may be your time then. I don't know if you probably won't be able to go before that. Yeah, I might go after the 22nd. But yeah, to talk about Gustavo, man, like, you know, all these things keep popping up and you know, we had a huge array of athletes that passed, you know, at, at surprisingly young ages. And, you know, of course, everyone calls me and they're like, what happened? You know, and you hear all these things. You hear, you know, whether it was kidneys or, you know, I heard he was starting to train again. And 
you know, I don't know, I don't think he was trying to make a comeback at 40, 49, 50, he's 50 years old, you know. Right. But, you know, people, people reminisce. I mean, I can tell you guys now, you know, now training for this, this 50 thing, like, I, I mean, the focus, we just loaded up a video that's going crazy right now. And, uh, like, the, the focus is there. It's not, it's not obviously, like, no plan of, oh, I'm going to go and I'm going to compete next year, you know. And I see people like Phil Klahar, who just won at 49, the, the Orlando show. And, you know, it gives you a lot of motivation. But at the same time, like, life takes over. And you realize that you're on the, the back end of your years rather than the forward end, right? So meaning, I'll be 50. I'm probably not going to live to 100. <laughs> you know, and, and honestly, you know, you don't fear it, but you, there's always, I can tell you at my age, there's always that like, man, you know, how many years do you have, right? Especially when you hear these kind of things, when, when friends or acquaintances or media, you know, tells, talks about people that had, you know, and you go to the doctor, you go, you get your checkups and, you know, my blood panels are good and all my markers are good, but listen, not to say things can change drastically super fast, you know, and, you know, you just got to be aware of things and do what you can. And, you know, Angie always says, enjoy every moment, every day. And, you know, her thing is like, hey, you know, you work so hard, you take vacations and stuff. But I mean, I tell people my day, my days are vacations to me because I'm <laughs> on my own boss. And, you're you know, when you're an day. entrepreneur and you've been kind of like that since the age of, you know, 20, 21, you know, man, I'm just spoiled in a sense where, you know, I was fortunate to do what I did. I loved it, you know, st started business. And listen, we've all had bad circumstance and, you know, we've been through life journey. I mean, like I said, I never had children. I went through a marriage. I was divorced. And obviously that was, you know, a heartbreaking time because, you know, you're with your, your childhood, you know, relationship person. Um, but, you know, we're still good friends and you know, that's the, that's the good part about it. And, you know, but that's, you know, my lost my dad a couple of years ago, you know, my mom's still alive, but, uh, you have a big family, a lot of nieces and nephews. So I think we're going to try to go back for Thanksgiving this year, you know, Christmas, I think Angie's family's coming here. So, you know, you take those moments, but it's like, that's months away, right? Anything can happen between now and then. And, you know, we can't, life is precious. So, you know, my condolences go out to everyone that surrounded Gustavo, his children, his, I believe his ex-wife, his family, um, you know, everyone. So I think, uh, I think it's a sad moment, you know? Yeah, for sure. So we'll put that clip in there yeah. and, uh, you know, I just wanted to touch on that, man. It seems like the last two jaywalkings I, I did, I mentioned Joe Stedek's That's last right. time That's and, right. uh, yeah. you know what I mean? So, um, not good. You know, hopefully uh, you guys, you know, just, to, you know, tell, take today and say to one of your loved ones or whoever else, friends, you know, appreciate them, you know, yeah. appreciate them because you just don't know when the last is, you know. Yeah. We're going to get a little jaywalking in today, guys. Uh, we've been trying to beat the heat. It's not bad like, today. Not bad. Oh, really? Yeah, not bad. Yeah, I've been walking actually a little earlier, but so I try to do an hour in the morning. And, uh, you know, I did like 50 minutes yesterday and I did my cardio a little earlier last night. So I didn't have to do cardio super late last night, um, but I was eating till late. So today I, I didn't get up till eight o'clock, uh, which is awesome for me. Mm -hmm. uh, that allows me to kind of kickstart my day with a little rest and energy. So we'll get a little <laughs> jaywalking in and cover a couple topics. So All right. Uh oh, where's this water coming from right here? I don't know. I got another leak. Is that from you? Yeah. Oh boy. It's in front of my house, it is. Mm. The kids are out today on their bikes. Oh, I yeah. keep I keep forgetting it's like summer. Yeah. You know, it's kind of funny. I went to the hair place the other day and they're like, don't come the week of August 7th. Oh. And I was like, why? And they're like, oh, the kids go back to school. Yes. I'm like, what? The kids go back to school that so early? So early, yeah. When did your kids go back to school? <sighs> it, it Do you remember? Yeah. I mean, for a while, I thought it was September, but it just, as time went on, the time kept moving up and up and up, but they would get off a school earlier also, so. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird. They must get, I don't know if they get, I think they get out late and they go back 
early. Good morning. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing her cardio too. Yeah, they're out here usually, their mom. She asked me the other day, she's like, where's Capone? And I said, oh, he's, he's, uh. Are they watching you walk he, with well, him? Well, she sees me every morning because normally they're rushing the kids. The, uh, the sitter comes for the kids. Okay. To, I think they have a nanny. And, uh, they, uh, they watch me walk him every morning usually, you know? Mm. Which I don't know if I even would now because of the heat. Yeah, yeah. You know, people worry about the dogs yeah. and. You know, that's what's great about having the Tesla is it has dog mode. What does that mean? The, it has dog mode, so it, it, you, it keeps it super cool in the cabin. Really? Yeah, it's called dog mode. Oh, wow. So you can, you, you know, run errands. Okay. You know, electric car, you can just leave it, up, like, it just yeah. blows air. Yeah, yeah. So they have, like, a dog mode. Oh, wow, nice. So anyone that sees dogs in a Tesla and the Don't heat, break the windows. <laughs> yeah, don't break the windows and don't call the... The cops. Animal control because yeah. it has dog mode. Oh, uh, okay. Good to know. See how smart Elon is, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's funny. Every time I come to your place and I pass that high school right there on the corner, I'm always reminded of when we went uh, filmed that football team, you know, when you were giving all the uniforms and all that stuff. Remember that? Where was that? Right there at the school. You don't remember that? We, one time we filmed and you were like, every year you would give like uh, a donation for the school uniform or something, the football team. I thought I did an arm wrestling thing. You did all kinds of stuff like that for kids back in the day. It was great. Yeah. Was it in, uh, was it, where was, do you remember where it was? It was somewhere in California, right? Yeah, but we did it here too also. Like oh, right really? On, right on oh, bank. yes, you're right, you're right. Yes. I think it was one of the last years. Yeah, you you're right. It. it was great. And of course we were filming, so all the kids wanted to be on camera and yeah, stuff. It was yeah. awesome. Morning. Well, everyone's jaywalking yeah. today. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Awesome. Hey, guys. <laughs> they said I said hi to one of them. <laughs> Very yeah. cool. And you're starting a trend. <laughs> well, it's, I, I mean, it's, it's kind of nice. You know, this street used to be crowded with kids. Oh, yeah? Yeah, because it's so private, right? I yeah. mean, it's only... Very safe. Only 20 homes in this community. Yeah, very safe. Well, actually, this... Uh, 18 and a half. Eight, one, one oh, sorry. Half. Yeah, 18. Uh, yeah, well, there's one being built right now. Okay. So, almost 19. And then there'll be, hopefully that 120 will be mine. Ah. Uh, the 20 may be my monster at the end. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh. Love my house, but I still want to put something together. I just love this neighborhood, man, you yeah, know? That's great. I'm kind of secluded away. I don't want something as, as the footprint maybe so large. I want to have something more, more uh, high tech and streaming. Mean, my AC is ridiculous right now, you know? Ooh, I'm sure. Very expensive, so. Yeah. Yeah, so training's going well. I know people are want to know the updates on the training. Yeah. The training has been on point. I haven't taken a day off this week. I did back yesterday. Jeez. Today would be arms. So the, yeah. the yeah, so the thing is, when did we shoot arms? Was that on the weekend or? Yeah, yeah. I think it was Saturday. Remember? I think it was Saturday, yeah. Yeah, so <clears throat> it's kind of funny because with, with J-Mac, we wanted to shoot something. So what I might do is meals. Oh yeah. I might do meals. People would like to hear about that. Right, because people keep asking what I'm eating. Yeah. And they, I've included them. I mean, I included them in the last couple. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say people really appreciate it. I think uh, uh, seeing the behind the scene when you're on your own and stuff like that, you know, kind of like a day in the life. I think, I think. People, I did they comment on it or? Yeah, that's that, that's a great comment. Tons of comments. So you're going to have to send some fat grips to somebody. No, we we got yeah. we're gonna have to pick a couple people, you That's know. That's awesome. But I but I asked a co I asked two people to, you know, I asked the people to put in there. Hey, why should we send them to you? So right, I'll look right. through. Yeah. Let's give it a couple of days to build up. I mean, it's only yeah. not even twenty four hours not, loaded not yet. No, but it's gonna be a big one. But yeah, it was. Let me good. ask you a question. What do you think is the most frequently used piece of equipment at the gym? Like, I mean, is a standard bench press like something where 
uh, like everyone has used or like an arm piece or like would, would you say dumbbells? Yeah. I, I, I want to say equipment. Like what do you think today in 2023 is like, I would say like a leg press, wouldn't you? Yeah, I was Cause gonna... It's, Cause it doesn't like, everyone can do it. Don't you feel like? Right, I was, I was gonna say like Smith Machine cause you can do a lot on a Smith Machine also. Yeah, I just don't know if anyone does free weights though. Well, it's not really free weights, it's Smith You know, I think, I think, remember, you, you gotta look at the body, right? So people train, people train the whole body. Mm. Okay, say the upper or lower. Wouldn't you think that like people would either do a dumbbell curl or they do some sort of leg press? I mean, leg extension, leg curl, I could say too, but some right. gyms maybe don't have that. Dude, if you have a gym and you have no leg extension, you're doing pretty bad. Man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I mean, everyone has, at least has that. Yeah, it's a good question though. It's a good question. I mean, it's, I guess it would be so many answer. I, I don't know, yeah. Treadmill? Some people don't do cardio, man. They walk outside or? I guess it's easier to walk outside than, you know. I mean, it's a good question if you are to, were to put like a, a home gym together, right? What do you get? Because you're limited on space. So you want to try to get stuff that you can use the most, I guess. That'd be interesting. What is a mach what's piece of equipment you use every time you do a body part? If I was to ask you chest. Yeah. You train chest at Dragon's Lair. Yeah. What do you use? I would say I would say a Smith machine. Really? Yeah, I like. See, I never use a Smith machine. Really? Ever? Why? Ever, 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 and it's in every gym that I train at. Yeah. Well, why wouldn't you? Why do you use that over free weights? Yeah, because there's just more support. It's just if you don't have a training partner, it's easier to spot yourself. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, if you have a training partner, then yeah, you can do free weight easy and stuff. But I found myself doing more stuff like that when I first started training, you know, and as, as the year went on, we used the Smith machine more. I don't know. Yeah, that's What a good do question. you use it for besides benching and... Well, making... we'll use it for triceps. We'll use it for, because uh, the way we do our triceps uh, press, presses, uh, you, we, we usually do it with the elbows out, which is for the long head of the tricep and stuff. So yes. we don't do it normal. So that's really good for that. So like a close grip bench press? Yeah, it's like a close grip bench, bench press, but instead of having just the elbows uh, close to your body, we turn them out. Yeah, see, I haven't done that since I quit. It's really good, yeah. I haven't done a close grip bench press since I quit. Really? Maybe that's why my elbows feel so good. Yeah, maybe. You know, because that's a pretty, that's kind of a power movement. Yeah. There's, just, there's a lot of things you can do on the... Yeah, yesterday was an ideal day, and you know why yesterday was ideal? Because I trained after, after three meals. Oh, yeah. So I felt like I was energized, and I felt like, it, like I've been kind of rushing and going after meal one to get it done. Yeah. That way I can get my meals in and get my business handled. Mm -hmm. And yesterday, I held off, and I took care of all my business, and then I went to the gym at 6.30 last night. Mm and went to kilo and it was great yeah. i saw jay the other day you know yeah how's he doing he's doing good you yeah. know he was talking about the success of the gym and he's a great guy how awesome it is and he took care of and, us uh, for a long time he's a great dude yeah he would he asked me he's like hey do you want any equipment you know any other stuff i'm getting a bunch of they're getting a ton of new equipment so. oh wow yeah. Is he changing stuff or? I don't know if he's taking some stuff out or just adding it, but. He's pretty tapped out as far as, like he's, he's, well, he's well, it's well I mean, furnished. Yeah, they got, they got some more stuff and they can fit okay. in there. All right. You know, so, they, yeah, this weekend I travel. I'm in Ohio for a free event. It's at Bullfrog Nutrition, oh, so. Oh, you're going back there, okay. So I don't know, this may launch. I don't know when we're gonna launch this, maybe Saturday. Yeah, I don't know when Tyler does it. What do you think? Uh, well, I'll, I'll have it up, uh, what's today? Today's Friday? Today's Thursday. Oh, Thursday, I can have it up by tomorrow, so depending yeah. on what time you want Tyler to do it. What are you training today? Today, uh, oh, I hate to tell you. <laughs> Why? I actually, yeah, it's not bad today, it's uh, chest shoulders. Okay. Because sometimes it's a weird break. That's a hard, that's a hard break though. I could never do chest and shoulders. Really? Dude, that's a lot of, that's a lot of, 
that's two big body parts for me. No, shoulders is not that big. It's not like chest and back. Sometimes I see people doing quads and back. I'm like, holy shit. I could yeah. never do that. I mean, I could, but it's tough. I'm starting to feel my shoulders now when I train. Oh? M most disappointing body part for me right now is my delts, dude. Really? It's the only thing that hasn't really... Sprung back I felt it bounced back. Mm. Does that sound accurate? Right, you do your shoulders were so fucking so round, you know. <sighs> Dude, so wide, yeah. So the expectations are like, why yeah. aren't they back, right? Well, yeah. It's funny. I was talking to someone about Max Muscle Venice the other day. I'm trying <laughs> to think what what we were talking about. And oh man, I miss that store. How many years did you have? It? Oh my god! I so I. I started working there in 98, uh, just like part-time. Okay. And eventually I became a district manager for a store. So I would go like, you know, once a week to check it out. And then I bought it officially in 04, July of 04. And I sold it in 2010. So you came on board in 2006 when you won. Yeah. And uh, those were great. Remember years. the white t-shirt we had with my picture? Uh, of on? course. It was really good, actually. The yeah, guy who, who made drew that. that? Ah, God, I can't remember the name, but some guy actually offered to just. I do wish you had a picture of it you could put on the screen so people could see. I would have to try to find it. Yeah, it was a good one. Um, Jake Cutler's Max Muscle. Yeah. You know, you know why I was talking about it. I was telling Gavin about Lee Priest sitting and eating the Kentucky Fried Chicken oh, yeah. in the middle of the store. Yeah, yeah. Like, we actually kept the, the bucket. Show. We really? actually, yeah, we actually kept the bucket and taped it to the wall, and he signed it. <laughs> so how far out was he when he did? Dude, it? like ten days or like something nuts. And he sat on the floor and ate the whole thing of Kentucky yeah. Fried Chicken, huh? He's like, if you're in shape, nothing's gonna screw up. Lee, we know. love you, man. Unbelievable. We love you, Lee. You know, Lee and I still his birthday just passed, so yeah, fifty-one. Oh, oh, he's the same age. Oh no, yeah. he's a little uh, one year old. He's one year older, dude. Look at that. Look at that. Hey Dog. guys, hi. You can see the camera. They want to be sure. on JTV. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. He uh, he used to go and hang out with Scotty a lot. When Scotty hey man, good morning. Scotty and Lee were good friends. Yeah. Yeah, Lee, man, he was something else. I'll never forget when I went there. I, you know, I was just, I was just called my mom and I called Chris to see it. I was so excited about it one day because exactly 30 years ago is when I went to LA for the first time to Gold's Venice. Oh shit. Like in July because the USA was then. Right. So I won the Teen Nationals in 1993 in June and then I won that trip with the Boston Globe Yeah. so we could fly there. Um, we got that $99 round trip special. <laughs> yeah. They misprinted it, yeah. and uh, I went to Gold's Gym, and I was telling Chris Aceto, I said, you remember this was 30 years ago. I left my car at your house. I flew directly to Raleigh-Durham, and I went to Gold's Gym Venice after we, we met there, and I met Ed Connors, and he invited me back. So in November of this year, will be exactly 30 years from when I went back, stayed at Ed Connors, wow. and made crazy progress, and I... A hundred percent said, I'm going to be a bodybuilder for life. <laughs> That's awesome. What a great feeling that is. That's awesome. What a great feeling because that was a huge turning point for me, man. When I went out there and Ed Connors gave me the opportunity to stay for a month at his house, like I got to rub elbows with some of the greats. And I trained at Venice. I rode my 10-speed bike to the gym every day from his house. <laughs> and I got to train out there. What year did you go? Were you uh, there yet? The first year I went was 93. Okay. Yeah. What, year, what month? Oh, dude, I can't remember. But you only went out to visit. So hold on. So I, I crossed the border on my car uh, March 13, 1993. Okay. I remember. Okay, yeah. so you were moving there. I was moving, yeah. Okay. So I was kind of a little bit... The first month I was in California, I actually stayed in Huntington Beach. I would I, I I would go there every day. I would train at the powerhouse on the beach. You remember the powerhouse yeah. on Main Street? And then you see we see Sean Ray and his yeah. tights. Oh yeah, Zucalado. They pull up on the oh, motorcycles. Oh dude, that was it was like a living in a magazine, dude. I was like, oh my god, I can't believe I've seen these guys. You know, that's <laughs> so cool. So we would go train. 
we eat our food, we park in that big structure right there of the, of the gym, and yeah. then we go to the beach all afternoon. We did that for 30 days straight. That was the life, dude. And when then you eventually, can and yeah, it was great. You had the long hair like Patrick Swayze. Uh, I don't think I had it anymore. Okay. Yeah. But eventually, you were the female at this time, right? Yeah, I was with a girl. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Colette, yeah. And then eventually, we kind of ventured to Venice. Uh, but we didn't really know where to go in California. We're new, you know, so we kind of yeah. just a little bit. We went to uh, Laguna Hills, uh, Huntington Beach, Newport, and eventually we ventured to LA. And once we started, we saw Gold's Gym. Ed gave me a membership for like a year the first time I got there. Really? Yeah, dude. He was like, because I would, you know, Colette was almost a pro. So everyone was giving comping her all the time, but I was just like a little nobody. I was like yeah. 180 pounds. But Ed saw me and he says, oh, Here's here's a because uh, the guy at the front is like this and you gotta you gotta get a membership man you can't keep coming here all the time and yeah I yeah. saw that and he gave me a year membership. Do you remember who the manager was at the time? Kent Coon was like at the. Do you yeah, remember yeah. Kent Coon? Yeah, he remembered everyone's numbers. Yeah, he was the gatekeeper. But I think it was Mike Ryan, and before that there was Darren. What? Yes. You remember Darren? Yes, he, he was, was there right before Mike. Builder. Yeah, he was competing. Yeah, he was pretty good. I think it was him, and then Mike got hired. And then, uh, yeah. And Mike still looks really good, dude. Yeah, man. He's still training heavy. I remember I was in there deadlifting like, uh, like a year ago, and he actually said to me, he was like, "That's it," because I did like 225, and he thought I was gonna go up to super heavy weights. You know? <laughs> what did I'm you like, say? I said, "No, man. I'm, just, I'm trying to salvage myself. You know, I deadlifted last night 225 for eight reps. I just, you know, go in there and do it, but." To, yeah, go back to, to go back to the 30 years. Yeah. 30 years, bro. 30 the, years from now is when it's all... The trip that changed your and life. And I, I can't believe it's 30 years. That's crazy. I know. I can't believe it's been 10 years since you competed. I, I had to call you. my mom because my mom, I'm like, Mom, you know, I was finishing working at the golf course and, and <laughs> you know, she got me the job at the, the golf course. Oh, really? Yeah. And I said, you know, this is when we went down to Teen Nationals, and oh, you went with me, and then I went to California, and then I called Chris and said, dude, we were at the USA's this weekend. It was like the 10th of July, so last weekend. Oh, uh, yeah. And I'm like, you know, that's when we were, and, wow. you know, I got to see Victor Richards and Chris Cormier and yeah. Flex Wheeler and all those guys. Like you said, the magazines, people, a lot of our viewers remember but you guys that didn't have magazines don't understand when you saw someone that you had seen in the books, yeah. it was like watching movies. Yeah. And then seeing that person in the movies like in real life. It, you were like blown away. You didn't yeah. even know what to say. Yeah. You just sat there and stared, that's, right? <laughs> that's right. And you watched like every move and like, oh my gosh. And you know, you told your friends when you got home and you couldn't call like Back then, you weren't texting your friends. You were just like, you had to get home, and you'd be like, I saw Tommy Lee Jones, and I saw yep. Keanu Reeves, and I saw, you know, uh, all these people, like it was James Caan, and I mean, I saw oh. everybody, dude. It's hard to work out even when you go the first time. It's like you well, want to Well, you never leave. <laughs> That's right. You never leave because you're like, you never like, six hours. Because every time you turn around, a new face came yep. in. Oh, Gold's really had... The, There's nothing that compared to yeah. it in the motivation you got to be around greats. And that's why yeah. they say this, okay? And I'm going to end it with this. When you surround yourself with greatness, mm -hmm. you do great things. Of course. And that's where you see these people with the opportunities, like... Then it it's kind of tells the story of me where I was able to reach a certain level. And when I started rubbing elbows and meeting more business people and had opportunities that fell in my lap, like the opportunities just came and they keep coming. Yeah. But that's why it's always great to, if you have that opportunity to be around greatness, take, take advantage it. of it, listen and learn. Because, you know, you never know where that's going to take you. It's, it's going to give you that extra motivation that you don't recognize. Yeah. Like, like outside, like as much. It's inspiration. It's deep inside of yeah. you. You know what I mean? Inspiration. Yeah. So. That's so true. Yeah. So for jaywalking, guys, we appreciate you. Channel's been on fire lately. Shout out to Dave. Dave's, Dave's uh, been doing some good edits lately. And uh, we appreciate you. The last one was a long one. This one's a little longer jaywalking, but 
uh, you know, once again, condolences to yeah. the Gustavo Bedell family, friends, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you just like, subscribe, follow, share the video, comment, tell me about your your 30 years. All right. No mercy for you. No worries for you. That Game of Thrones. Go sexy on you. I kept the script. I rolled the dice. Don't fall asleep. Cause I'm working nights. Hey, you trying to shut.